you're pretty familiar with uh, the YouTuber Mr. Beast or his uh, the guy's name uh, Jimmy Donaldson and uh, his uh, bunch of friends. He is uh, one of the top three uh, most uh, popular YouTubers out there, which has done uh, a lot of uh, good things, dangerous things, and possibly illegal things that a regular person, uh, if if uh, tried any of those things, uh, would have uh, got arrested or maybe even killed. He's also done partner partnerships uh, with uh, people like Mark Rober, scientist uh, for Team Trees and Team Seeds, uh, helping pl plant trees and also help take a lot of trash out of the water where it doesn't belong and uh, to a place where it does belong. And uh, also Jimmy and friends that uh, also ha they have their own uh, brand. Being able to uh, make uh, feastables, which is uh, basically uh, packs of uh, ch chocolate, uh, which is like pretty basic chocolate. Uh, it's not very high quality, but it, it's just. Hey look, it's Mr. Beast, uh, go try it out, uh, because uh, it's uh, his, uh, has the label on it, marketing attempt, and also he also has uh, Beast Burger, which uh, he created this uh, Just a while back, uh, after uh, he and his uh, friends that uh, went on this uh, co across the country journey uh, while trying uh, various uh, burger joints, uh, and uh, basically, literally just take the bite of uh, these uh, burgers and then, uh, yeah, these suck, and then just throwing it away. Uh, and then uh, even uh, insults uh, in in and out, uh, which is exclusively only available in the West, and also Shake Shack, which is a uh, very good. And then claims uh, his uh, is the best, which there was uh, some. It basically, if you look at the Beast Burger that menu, it's uh, basically. Uh, Buns, to him, got buns, patty, and then, uh, and then, lack of vegetables to, uh, and just cheese and some other stuff that is not very uh, good enough to say a decent uh, hamburger. It's Well, people were like, well, it's uh, Mr. Beast. Let's just, we're going to just try his uh, burgers because it's, it's Jimmy's brand. And there was a, a lawsuit between uh, Jimmy and uh, the company he did a deal with uh, called the Virtual Dining Concepts. Uh, which that they uh, make uh, food uh, and then and then that can be taken out for uh, delivery. So it's compared to all of these uh, major fast food uh, restaurants uh, that make burgers, uh, the ones that uh, Jimmy and his friends uh, slandered just for uh, marketing. Uh, he was a uh, So it's a ghost kitchen, so it's basically 
takeout only. So the, the ghost kitchen, they make these Mr. Beast burgers and then and then you go to these one of these locations in the US or or they have some in England uh, and then you get one, pay for it and then go. So there's currently 40 locations in the United Kingdom and 1,700 in the USA and there were some a lot of uh, bad reviews uh, such as uh, fans of uh, Mr. Beast uh, posted images on Twitter of raw meat and burgers. Uh, customers are reviewing, uh, referring to their meals as a terrible meme burger, disgusting, revolting. Uh, and uh, there was a lawsuit used that uh, by uh, VDC on that part, and you know, it's not a high quality, decent uh, restaurant. It's just ghost kitchen. It's basically a YouTuber saying, "Look at this is my burger brand. Just try it and." Of course, it's not going to be very good. Uh, it's going to be probably trying something you probably would uh, try to make uh, at uh, at home. Or sometimes it's going to be good. Sometimes it's going to be bad. But you don't know the results. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy told a fan in the, back in June uh, when he was disappointed in uh, what Mr. Beast's uh, burger uh, offering. Uh, yeah, the problem with the Beast's burger is that I can't guarantee the quality of the order. When working with the other restaurants, it's uh, impossible to control it, sadly. As he says on Twitter. So he, his uh, lawsuit uh, said uh, virtual dining concept was more focused on rapidly expanding the business as a way to pitch the virtual uh, restaurant model to other celebrities for the own benefit. It was uh, not focused on controlling the quality of the Mr. Beast Burger customer experience and products. Although uh, people would be uh, on the high demand for this, uh, the Mr. Beast burgers, uh, because he's, you know, Mr. Beast, uh, which, uh, of course, uh, there's a lot of people ordering this, so quick, 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 make one, make one, make one. And they could be rushed. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And it depends on uh, which burger they ordered. The virtual dining concepts uh, team, uh, on their lawsuit, they said the complaint is uh, really filled with uh, false statements and inaccuracies and a thinly failed attempt to distract from uh, Mr. Donaldson's beast breaches of the agreements between the parties, including Mr. Donaldson's recent false disparaging uh, statements regarding the Mr. Beast brand and VDC. Some of these accused uh, Jimmy of filing this meritless lawsuit after VDC refused to accede to, to the bullying tactics. And you know, just because uh, some uh, social media influencer uh, makes this uh, product uh, and says uh, this is it and uh, try it and people try it uh, it just because it's uh, they're popular and they make this product uh, with uh, these uh, ingredients in it that I prefer this in my burger 
that doesn't mean the product is going to be as good as uh, they say, say it is. It's all marketing. Because I could literally have an image of the any of the Jimmy the friends uh, their burger, the ingredients, uh, and then they just take a photo of it and then just make it look good in this way, and then uh, and then the and then people and then the kitchen they make it exactly like that, but uh, but it doesn't look exactly like the image that you probably saw in that Mr. Vista video that uh, he was uh, saying this is why I made the Mr. Beast now burger with my friends And there are uh, burgers out that are better than uh, Jimmy the brand. And if you wanted a good burger, you can uh, definitely uh, support these uh, burgers. Uh, whether Jimmy says uh, just because uh, Jimmy said I don't like this uh, doesn't doesn't mean uh, you need to listen to everything he says. Uh, That's because yeah, one person, uh, your favorite uh, social media influencer like likes this. That doesn't mean you have to like it too, or doesn't like this. Uh, you you don't have to hate it too. So, if you want to try uh, uh, any of the Mr. Beast burgers, that is on uh, your decision whether uh, you want to try them or not. And also, you could also uh, give a response uh, whether you liked it or not, and you just prefer whatever uh, burger joint that uh, near you, whether it's a factional fast food joint or it's actually uh, individual uh, personally owned uh, kitchen burger joint. That is actually worth trying. You can always support those.